Okay, uh, yeah, I just basically uh, wanted to show you guys um, what's going on or what's being hosted by uh, the National uh, World War I Museum and Memorial uh, for people that don't get um, their newsletter or any notifications if you don't re um, subscribe, which I do, so I'm letting you know. So here's uh, the first one, my goodness, I'd like to go, but my God, talk about a lot of money. I think it's $2,800 US just to get to France for it um but my oh my yeah something i want to do someday not this but uh get my butt over to france and take a look at the vimy memorial there um so yeah you'd still have to um you yeah, know there we are you'd still have to get yourself to france um i do know they have past tours or parts of the past tours on uh, youtube uh, there was one there where they were showing the, the old um, artillery pos uh, positions, I think, in East Europe, and uh, I was like, wow, that was pretty impressive. Okay, let me show you another one. And this is if, you obviously, if you live in, uh, or if you have even way more money than um, uh, the, uh, the other thing, too, because if you could go to here as well, this is in Kansas City, this is on Saturday morning, and I think their times are central time, I guess, that must be 15 central time, I would assume. I don't know if that's uh, what they do, but that looks interesting. While in prison in Great Britain for nearly four years because of his citizenship, Joseph Pilates created a new exercise system, now popularly known by his surname. Uh, bring a mat and a friend for a low-impact regimen with Thrive Pilates and Movement Studio that develops core strength and flexibility for any level of fitness. While you're stretching out, enjoy free cold-pressed juice from Ruby Jeans Juicery. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then you can also go to the free uh, special ex special ex exhibition captured. And uh, let's take a quickie look there. I think I showed you that in the per uh, in a previous one. So, woof. Yeah, uh, let's go back here. Uh, did it? Yeah, I just wanted it. Actually, I'll show you the next one. Hold on. This one I'm going to register for full, uh, no, it's the next one. This one, I'm not sure if I'm going to register for this one, but it does look interesting. So this is on Monday night or Monday evening. It's a, yeah, I, mean, I don't know if I can deal with uh, Zoom so much, but uh, for over, over a century, the American Battle Monuments Commission, ABMC, has honored and commemorated the legacy of the United States war dead through the maintenance of its overseas military cemeteries and memorials. In this centennial anniversary year for ABMC, join us for a panel discussion with Dr. Kyle Hatzinger, U.S. Army Command and General Staff College, historian Benjamin Brands, ABMC, and Dr. Allison Finkelstein, Arlington National Cemetery as we trace the origins and evolution of remembrance through ABMC's work since the Great War. I know that uh, Dr. Kyle ha uh, Hatzinger and Dr. Allison Finkelstein, they've, uh, they're have they repeat, well, I don't know what you want to call it, repeat offenders of, uh, they're on the uh, Pershing Lecture Series. So uh, yeah, they're good talkers. Uh, and then this one I'm for sure going to be registering. Um, uh, yeah, the Pershing Lecture Series, gosh, I love these uh, uh, lectures. I would certainly like to uh, be able to um, stream one uh, one day for so we can chit chat and talk about it because there's just I just find so, some of the stuff so provocative. Um, I don't know about what you guys find. I know we're talking about the whatever, but uh, here we go. Um, I love these types of photos. I also love seeing these scenes in movies where uh, whatever. I'm not. I don't really care about him, but um, like like. This person here, does he recognize somebody in the line? And I just like, is this person going, oh shit, I'm next? I, I just, I just love that type of stuff. Um, anyways, this is uh, Pershing Lecture Series: Guests of the Kaiser and Spoils of the Doughboys. I am so watching, uh, watching this. I know that um, if this interferes with anything else, I think that's the choose. So, for example, if this is six thirty. Um, central time. I think this would interfere with uh, Dan Pancali's Tuesday live stream show, which I think a lot of people like to go to. So, but you could just wait a week and watch it again, or a few days, and you and the uh, the World War One Museum and Memorial will put 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 it put this up on the uh, on their YouTube channel. Anyways, 
Becoming a prisoner of war has always been a fraught experience. In a matter of minutes, the soldier goes from being an active combatant to being dependent on the mercy and benevolence of their enemies. The passions created by the deadly nature of the great wars, battlefields, and the fear and hatred that the war's participants tried to instill in their peoples complicated the process of surrendering dur during World War I. Join Dr. Richard Faulkner, another repeat offender, as he explores the official agreements and regulations that govern the treatment of prisoners of war during the Great War, why soldiers sometimes ignored these procedures, and the American and German treatment of each other's POWs in 1918. Um, this, I'm, well, I mean, just generally interested, as well as um, this comes up repeatedly uh, with the Italian front and whatnot. Um, just the, uh, the Italian uh, high command and th their attitude towards prisoners of war and their own troops surrendering and so on and so forth. Uh, I, I just find it fascinating. So I'm just like, oh, this is perfect. It's just going to connect uh, some more dots for me. Um, hold on. I'll see if there's anything else left to show. Oh, yeah, there is this. So um, hold on. It's this here. Enjoy a discount all month long for any homeschool student 18 and under homeschool month. A uh, discounted rate of $6 provides ticketed access to all gallery areas of the museum and memorial, along with a free National World War I Museum and Memorial Family Guide. Discount tickets are only available on site at the ticketing counter. Please be advised all students under the age of 16 must be accompanied by an adult. That's cool. Anyways, that's it. I uh, hope we are, uh, you are having a great time. And um, uh, like I said, I'm certainly going to be uh, off to go on... Uh, to the Pershing Lecture Series there uh, next week, is it? Hold on. Tuesday, March 7th. Yep, I will certainly be there. Okay, see you later.